Welcome to a brand new week, and this week we are going to talk about love. Of course, it's a season for it, but we have to look at it from the Bible's point of view and what God says about us walking in love. And we'll be looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and we'll run through several verses in that passage. Incidentally, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 uh, was one of the earliest Bible passages I had to memorize and I had to do it uh, in primary school for a school play. So it's, it's a passage that I have some uh, kind of connection to. All right, so 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse number 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is a hymn of love. It's a, the whole chapter is dedicated to love and its impact on the Christian. And it stands in between 1 Corinthians chapter 12, where Paul talks about spiritual gifts, and 1 Corinthians chapter 14, where Paul talks about speaking in tongues. So this is rightly appropriate. And in the first verse, he talks about spiritual gifts and speaking in tongues. So uh, he's connecting the two passages together. The Corinthian Christians, like us in Africa, were very fascinated by spectacular spiritual activities. And speaking in tongues and prophecy and things were very important to them. Uh, and they were fascinated by it. And I see the same fascination with our world today. And so this message is appropriate. And Paul speaks to these Christians who consider spiritual gifts as more important than any other thing, and he talks about love. He says two important things here. First, that love makes spiritual gifts meaningful. He says if you speak in tongues uh, and, and you do not have love, you are like a clanging cymbal. A clanging cymbal is just an instrument making noise but not sending any clear message, not having any particular message it is sending. So we can choose to be clanging cymbals uh, and, and sounding brass. We can just choose to make noise or we can choose to give a sound or to give meaning and, and make our gifts and our spiritual lives meaningful. And what makes our lives meaningful is when our spiritual gifts are undergirded with true Christian love. And so Paul brings love as a partner of spiritual gifts. And he says without it, the spiritual gift is nothing. And sometimes we think that the spiritual gift by itself is powerful. But here Paul says what really makes it powerful is love. And we'll learn later about what love is. And Paul is also telling us that our love is greater than any spiritual gift. He doesn't actually say the spiritual gifts are not important, but he shows us uh, what he calls a more excellent way, a better way, something that we should really pursue and seek after. And he says, if you're going to seek all the gifts, it's fine. But the thing you should really seek after, the thing your heart should really be after is the love of God. And that, that is something very sobering for us to think about, that God's love is superior to any gift we have. Whether it's a spiritual gift or a natural gift or a talent or an ability we have, no matter how excellent we are, if we don't exhibit God's love, all of those have no meaning and have no benefit. And so as we seek to do great things spiritually and in our natural life, in our professions, in our careers, the Christian's ultimate pursuit should be to walk in the love of God. And that's how we start our week for today. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for every spiritual gift. Help me to use my gifts to bless your people. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.